Hi everyone, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So the first thing you're probably going to notice is we're in a different location right now. Um, we're actually sitting in my living room and I moved in here to film because there's some noise going on like outside of where I normally film and I really need to film this video right now because I am running on a bit of a tight schedule. So I thought I'd just move locations to a part of the house that was a little quieter and sit down and film. So um, Hopefully you guys like this location. Um, I guess if you do, I could film here sometimes. Uh, the lighting actually seems to be pretty good. It's a sunny day today. I didn't even move my lights over. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. But um, today I'm really excited to be sitting down with you and sharing some products from Lauren Conrad Beauty. And I decided to pick up some of her makeup products and I thought I would give you my thoughts on them. Also, I'm going to be including demos of me using the products in this video as well and I am wearing the products on my face so you can see how they look. I kind of am a little bit late posting this video and that's because I honestly didn't realize when the brand uh, first launched that they were going to be like clean beauty products. I just assumed they would be conventional beauty and I feel like that's part of the difficulty with this brand. I have no problem with celebrities launching makeup lines like they can do whatever they want. However I guess my thing is I felt like Lauren kind of jumped on this like clean beauty bandwagon because it's trendy rather than something that she herself is known for. Um, and I feel that way also with the Victoria Beckham line. I haven't tried out any of her makeup products. I am curious about it. Both Lauren and Victoria had their own clothing brands and they weren't really known for like sustainable or eco-friendly fashion. And then all of a sudden they catapult themselves into the makeup space and are trying to produce these like clean eco-friendly products and I'm just not entirely sure that I'm convinced <laughs> by them actually being committed to these causes because I feel like if they were then their whole entire brands would be structured around this rather than you know just releasing these products and trying to fit into a makeup um, area that's really popular right now. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on whether you feel like these are really genuine brands or if it's just celebrities trying to enter into the space and they're trying to do so by writing on a very big trend right now. And obviously I believe clean beauty is a lot more than a trend. Um, I feel like I started using clean beauty back four years ago before it was really trendy. Yes, it was becoming more, a little bit more mainstream during that time, but that was before there was even clean at Sephora or Ilia or Kosas or any of those brands were being carried at Sephora. So I don't know, I just found the whole thing really interesting. When I first saw the first release of makeup products from Lauren Conrad Beauty, I was just kind of like, okay, whatever, like I'll try, I'll probably try these out, but I wasn't really drawn to any of them. They did do a second release of products and I was a bit more impressed by those, um, to be honest. And I, a number of the products I picked up today are from that like second release of products. I didn't try out the entire brand to be completely transparent. Some of the products I've heard pretty negative reviews on from multiple people on YouTube. And given those reviews, I knew that I probably was not going to like those products. I didn't want to buy a product where I knew a lot of people didn't like that product and that I likely would also not like that pro product. So for that reason, I didn't pick up the highlighter. I also didn't pick up like their cream blush. Um, those are the two main products I skipped on because I heard pretty negative reviews of both of them, but I did pick up their mascara, their eyeliner, one of their eyeshadow palettes, um, their lipstick, and their powder blush. I feel like the packaging is pretty homegrown. I do like their the powder products. They kind of come in this like, almost like an envelope where it's folded up and you kind of unfold it to access the product. There is no mirror. I think that's in part because the packaging is supposed to be more environmentally friendly. Um, but you know, it's also quite expensive too for not having a mirror. I will say the price point on all these products is not like super high end in clean beauty, but it, they're, they're definitely expensive. I wouldn't put them on the affordable scale. Um, I feel like Honest Beauty has a lot more affordable um, price points on their products. Also, <laughs> that's another celebrity clean beauty line, but Jessica Alba was also known for Honest, the Honest Company before she even launched Honest Beauty. So that's something to think about too. Um, but I did pick up the blush, the powdered blush in the shade Romance, and I am wearing it on my cheeks today. This is a little bit more of a deep kind of 
rosy pink. There was a lighter pink, but I honestly went for the shade because I just felt like I had a lot of light pink blushes. And I do like this shade a lot. I think the pigmentation level is really nice. It is a completely matte formula. It has no shimmer on it. And it gives a nice amount of color on the cheeks. I've got a swatch here on my hand in case you're curious. And I am wearing this on my cheeks today. I have been testing this out and I do find that the blush wears really well on my cheeks. It doesn't fade on me throughout the day, which I do have oily skin and sometimes blush products do tend to fade on me. And this one has done a great job of staying in place. I find it easy to blend out. I am using my new favorite blush brush, uh, which definitely helps the blush apply even nicer. I do find it to be a product that is very easy to work with. The one downside of this blush is there's only two shades. And I think that's something the whole line has struggled with is the shade range is not great on these products. I mean, obviously with products like mascara or, line, or liners, you can just have black and that'll be okay. But I think a good example of the lack of shade range is their bronzer. Um, they did release a powder bronzer in just one shade and there was so much uproar over it. They basically took the bronzer off their website. I imagine they're going to relaunch it at some point with multiple shades. There was only one shade of the bronzer launched. I think for the cream blush and also the cream highlighter that there was only one shade released as well. With products like that, they really are not one shade fits all. That's part of the reason I passed on the highlighter was I was worried with my extremely fair skin that the highlighter would be too dark on me. And also I just didn't hear great things about the highlighter. But I think that definitely the brand is not really conscious of what consumers are looking for. We're looking for brands with inclusive shade ranges and Lauren Conrad Beauty is definitely lacking on that front. In terms of the blush, I do like it. If either of the shades jumps out at you, I think it's a nice product. Would I say it's amazing, it's blown my mind? No, but if you just want a solid blush, this is a great option, but also it is pretty expensive and I feel like you can find other powdered um, blushes that are more affordable. I'm thinking of the Honest Beauty ones. Those do have shimmer in them. They aren't um, purely matte, but they are a really lovely formula and just a fraction of the cost of this one. So next we're going to move on to the eyeshadow palettes. And I actually got the cool toned eyeshadow palette in the shade Magic Hour. And I am wearing this on my lids today. Lauren Conrad Beauty did an initial drop of products of their makeup line. And then they did like a week or two later a second drop of makeup products and then another week or two later they dropped some skincare. Um, I will make a few comments on that. First off, I find that very confusing as a brand. They should have just like launched everything all together. I'm not really sure why they're doing these staggered launches because I know a lot of people like did the purchase some of the products initially, but then if you want to try out any of the other products, you have to go place another order on the website. And that's one of the reasons I don't have any of the skincare is because it launched after I placed this order for makeup and I really just didn't want to place another order on the website. Um, and I have to say that when I saw the eyeshadow palettes launch, my first thought was they were really unimaginative. Um, the warm toned one is almost identical in the colors to the Cloven Hallow eyeshadow palette. It's almost identical in shades to that palette. It also looks really similar to the Ilia palette. I'll put a picture of both of them up here so you can see side by side. Um, and so that's why I did decide to go with this cool tone palette. It, it, it did look online very similar to the Ilia um, cool tone palette. However, I will say I actually like the shades of the Lauren Conrad Beauty one better than the Ilia. Um, in the pan, in the picture, it looks very similar to the Ilia palette, but I actually find the way that these translate onto my eyes, they're a little bit less purpley, which I find to be a bit more flattering for me. I love the quality of the Ilia um, Cool Tone palette. However, I actually find myself enjoying the shades in this one a bit better. Maybe that's the case with the Warm Tone palette, but I just was not drawn to it at all. It just looked like every other Warm Tone palette that I've seen, and it really didn't inspire me. This one honestly didn't inspire me a lot as well, but I did think in my mind I had fewer Cool Tone palettes, so I'd rather try this one out. And to be really honest, I actually like it. So here's my thoughts on it. The pans are tiny and for the price, it is pretty expensive, but the shadow quality is actually quite good. Um, I did use this palette on my eyes today. I used this whole top row here and then I used this shade here and this shade here. I didn't use the shade here today, but I did use, I tried to use as many of the shades as possible so you could see them in action. The metallics are nice. I wouldn't say they're super metallic, I'll swatch them for you up here. I mean, they do give a nice shimmer, 
but there are beautiful metallic shades in the clean beauty space and it's just hard to compete with the metallics for instance of the aether beauty palettes like they're just beautiful um okay so i've got the two metallic shade swatches you can see they're pretty and they do reflect the light they're just not like the most metallic buttery eyeshadow shades you've ever seen um i do really like the mattes as well i find that they have a nice level of pigmentation and they blend really easily and that's what i'm looking for in a matte eyeshadow formula oh and i should say this one here in the middle bottom is kind of like a satin shade i do really like it i think that's really a pretty shade as well um, this white up here is nice. Um, and then these are the other two, um, matte shades. And I think the one thing I really like this palette over the Ilia is this matte shade here is a little bit more taupe than like pinky purpley. And it works a lot better as a crease shade for me. <laughs> That's the one problem I have with the Ilia Cool Tone palette is I feel like the like transition shade is not quite the right shade for me and my skin tone. Maybe it works better for other people, but I just find it pulls a little bit too like pinky purpley and isn't as flattering. And this one's just a smidge more brown. Honestly, this shade reminds me, there's like a matte shade in the Honest Beauty palette. that's kind of like a cool tone matte. And that shade reminds me a lot of it. Um, and I really enjoy using that one. Um, is it worth it? I think if you want a small cool tone eyeshadow palette, this is really nice. I do think it is expensive um, for what you're getting. I won't say that, but I think the quality is there. Is it as nice of quality as the Ilia palettes or as the Aether Beauty palettes? No, but I do think it is a really nice palette and I can get really pretty eye looks. I love the way my look turned out today. I've been using it for several days and I like all the looks I've gotten with this palette. So I, I do say it's nice. Um, it's just not the most inventive or creative palette, but you know, it does work well and I've got to give credit where credit is due. So next up, we're going to move on to the eyeliner. And I have to confess, I'm not much of an eyeliner wearer. Um, most of the time you see me filming or even posting on Instagram, I'm not wearing eyeliner. And a big part of the reason is my eye shape. I have very hooded eyes um, and I just don't have a lot of like eye space visible when I'm looking directly ahead. Um, and for that reason, I typically focus on eyeshadow. And the problem is when I actually go to apply a liner, it can often make my eyes look smaller. And it also just covers up some of the eyeshadow, like the little bit of eyeshadow that's actually showing. However, I did decide to try this eyeliner for a few reasons. One, I heard the tip was really thin on it. Two, I also heard that it was like one of the easiest ones to use. And I am not adept at putting on eyeliner. So I was like, this sounds like it could be good. And I have to say, I do really like how fine the tip is. Um, if you are someone who is looking for a really thin tipped eyeliner, I would say this is probably one of the thinnest ones I've seen. And for that reason, I actually find it really easy to work with because I want a really thin line. Like I want this line um, along my lashes to be as thin as possible. I didn't do a wing because I typically don't do a wing but I do really like how this eyeliner looks just to emphasize my eyelashes. And it's so thin that I can just get that little bit of definition, but I'm not making my eyes look smaller. I'm not covering up all my eyeshadow. So I do really like that. I have been wearing this for a few days and I did find yesterday that it did fade a little bit on me. Um, it wasn't too bad. I wish I had had a few more days to test this out further before filming, but I did have a little bit of a problem with it fading. Um, I'm not doing a wing with it. so if it fades a little bit along my lash line, like you're gonna have to get up really close. Like I had to look in a mirror to see it fading. I don't think like someone just sitting and talking to me would be able to see it. Um, but I could see if you were wearing this as a winged eyeliner, that, that could give you some problems because if you have a wing, it's going to be more noticeable if it's fading. However, I do really like this though, for, like I said, for lining my upper lash line and just giving a little bit of definition and being able to have a really, really thin line. It's also very black. It's nice and opaque. Um, it wasn't goopy. It's just like a very nice formula and it was easy to work with. Is the longevity of it perfect? No, but do I mind? No. So I do like the eyeliner and I do think the positive reviews about it are accurate and that it is a nice product. I would just keep in mind that it could fade. Um, I did have some problems with that. I also have very oily eyelids. I've talked about that before too. 
so I could be part of the problem that was contributing to it fading. So I also picked up the mascara and I'll insert clips of me with the mascara on one eye and not on the other so you can see. Um, unfortunately, I did wear eyeliner. <laughs> well, well, because I wanted to show you the eyeliner in this video. Uh, I should also mention I didn't insert a clip of me putting on the eyeliner because I have to get like an inch away from the mirror and you wouldn't be able to see anything. But unfortunately, the eyeliner does make it more difficult to see the mascara, but hopefully <laughs> you hopefully I can zoom in close enough that you'll be able to actually tell the difference with and without the mascara. This mascara is nice. Um, it's a lengthening mascara. I don't get any volumizing effects from it. I just get length. Although granted, I've only had it for about a week. It's possible as I use it longer and longer that it may get a bit thicker and plumpier with time, which is natural that happens with all mascaras, and that it might give me a bit more volume as we go on. But right now it's just like a lengthening mascara. And I do like it. I would say it's, it's good. Would I say it's my favorite mascara? No. But I do like the length it gives. Um, it is a pretty typical wand. It's just your regular like pipe cleaner wand. Um, it's not a funny shape or anything like that. Um, and the formula does stay really well. It doesn't flake on me. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't transfer. But honestly, I like the Honest Beauty one better and it's more affordable as well. So I would probably recommend that one over this one. And then the final product I'm going to talk about is the lipstick. And I have the shade in Shell and I am wearing it on my lips today. I'm gonna swatch it for you on my hand so you can see what it looks like on my hand. So there's the lipstick in the shade Shell. And I have to tell you, I was totally influenced to buy this by um, Khaki. I saw her review Lauren Conrad's line and I saw her put on this lipstick and I just loved the color of it on her and she liked the formula and I was like okay I need to go try it. She is also very fair skinned so I figured if it looked good on her it probably would work well on me. And I love this color like this is definitely like my lips about butter. I always talk about my lips not having a lot of pigment to them and I feel like if they actually had pigment, it would be this shade. Like, I love the shade of this. I saw Reagan try out this lipstick and she tried out a different color um, than what I have and, then, and what Khaki used. So I don't know if there's variations in the formula from shade to shade. She didn't like it a lot. I do like this formula. It's a matte lipstick formula. You have to go in knowing that. It's not a super creamy formula. It doesn't really transfer. I have it on now. And if I go like that, like I get a little bit of transfer, but very, very little, all things considered. And I do really like that about this formula because it's very comfortable. Like it, I know this sounds crazy, but it doesn't really feel like you have anything on. Like a lot of matte lipsticks feel really, really dry on the lips. Um, and this one, I just kind of forget that I actually have a lip product on. Like it's, it's, it feels weightless. So if you actually don't like the feeling of lipsticks, this might be the right lipstick for you because it just kind of feels like you have nothing on. But in the same token, because of that, it's not a very hydrating formula. So if you like a really creamy lipstick that leaves your lips just feeling so nice and moisturized, like this is not the formula for you. But if you want a more matte lipstick that doesn't feel dry, this is a good option. And I love the color, like I said. I don't know what it is about this color, but I just love it. And it's definitely a lipstick that I've been reaching for. And the good thing about it being very like minimal and transferring is it's perfect for wearing masks right now because you don't have to worry about it like transferring the inside of your mask. So if you're going somewhere you want to wear lipstick, you're going to be taking your mask on and off. This is a great lipstick for that situation. Would I say it's the best lipstick I've ever tried? No. I do really like the Helia Color Black lipsticks. I do really like the Red Apple Lipstick Lip Formulas. Um, those are some of my absolute favorites, but I definitely do like this formula and I do reach for this lipstick quite a bit and I do really enjoy wearing it. Um, I think there are like three or four shades. I can't vouch for a formula of all the shades, but the shade shell, um, the formula is really nice and the color is really nice. So overall, what are my thoughts on the line? I would say the products I tried are all pretty good. Would I say any of them are amazing, life-changing products? Absolutely not, but I did enjoy them. I am going to keep reaching for them and using them. Um, none of them like blew me out of the water. And I did, I do try a lot of clean beauty products. Um, that's what I do on my channels. I really am quite experienced with the clean beauty um, selection. And I just felt like overall these products didn't bring anything new to the space. They didn't have a huge shade range. 
they didn't have really impactful colors. They didn't have like brand new innovative formulas. Like, and I feel kind of let down because of that, because every time I see a new brand release or new products come out, I want the clean beauty space to keep moving forward and innovating and having new cool products. And these just felt like products that already exist. Like there wasn't really a lot of innovation happening. For that reason, it's a bit disappointing. In terms of like the actual products themselves and them working, these ones I tried were good. Um, like I said, I did hear some pretty negative reviews about some of the other products in the line. So if you're curious about some of the other products, definitely watch out, watch some of the other videos um, that are floating around, um, like khakis, like Reagan's, um, just so you have a sense of their thoughts on the products. But um, the ones I tried, the eyeshadow palette I like, I'm going to keep using, the blush is nice. I do like the lipstick quite a bit. The eyeliner I'm definitely going to keep using and the mascara is fine. I'll use it till the three months are done, but I probably won't repurchase it after that. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel um, and click the bell button so you're notified of when I post new videos. Also come follow me on Instagram. My handle's at Naturally Beautiful Cat. And let me know your thoughts on the Lauren Conrad Beauty line. Are you interested in trying out her products? Have you tried out any? Let us all know your thoughts down below. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.